So obviously this is, I set myself quite a difficult task here with this still life. This is enormous. I mean, a lot of people and I have done still lives where the flowers are this high, or maybe the whole thing is this high, but on the canvas it becomes bigger and it takes up the space and becomes this much bigger thing. So I've taken on a still life with a lot of different details, depths, heights. Um, so technically, that was going to take quite a lot of time because I wanted to get in a bit more detail of the flowers rather than just have it um, impressionistic. Um, so obviously that's quite a daunting task for the art, for the painter. Um, this canvas is quite big. Um, so how you start and how I started, and once I've done this, I feel really good, is I do a ground, I cover the canvas, the white canvas, with a ground of raw umber mixed with solvent to give it just colour, you know, something there, so you've already started, and then I use a darker, um, I use a brush to carefully map out the composition, size-wise, scale-wise, the, the size of the vase compared to the top of the poppy, um, compared to the top of that flower, compared to the grass, for example, and width-ways as well. When you've got that down, you feel great because you know where you're going. Um, my advice is not to leave too much time. Don't do that in the evening and then start the canvas the next day because you would have forgotten what some of these markings are that you've drawn um, drawn in. And also when you're starting wild flowers that aren't going to last that long, these are wildflowers, they don't last that long. Poppies last maybe one hour in the vase. Um, start in the morning and just really go for it and try and get it down as much as you can because those crucial bits of painting you just think in your mind you think um, I'm just you know I can go over this later it doesn't have to be perfect and that is a good time to get a lot done because actually you don't go back often because you're just meditatively go meditative whatever the word is, you're going into it rather than thinking about it too much. For example, this leaf here, here, I did quickly and I'm not going to redo that or go over it. It's good. Um, so to begin with, I felt I was feeling good and then I felt quite daunted because there's literally so much information to get in here and you have to, you know, I didn't, you have to find the right brush that's the right shape for the petals because these corn flowers they have a square shape end to them rather than a classic round shaped petal um so there's some fiddling round because i've i haven't really painted them before finding the right brush um so i did go through a period of my god this is like an exam i've actually got to get this down and I, i've got now to get this down and get this right um, and then once I've gone through that, it was almost like I had to go through that for me personally to then feel much more relaxed and like I just went into a natural state where you're not really thinking so much, you're just doing it in a like meditation, which is a lovely feeling. And then once that was down, I could then relax and enjoy the last um, couple of hours where I was just doing the sort of background and then just enjoying thinking about where the light is. I mean, ironically, where the light is coming in here, um, it's light, but then immediately, this is sort of darker here, but just before where it's light as well, you've got sort of darkness. Um, definitely you've got darkness along the darker edge of that, that stem, let's say. But you also have some darkness here. So it's not as straightforward as that's light, that's dark. So you're kind of playing around with that, with what's actually there, what you can actually see, what the light gives you naturally, and what you feel like putting on the canvas. That's where you can be playful um, and inventive. And that's the lovely part. <laughs>